Everyone needs a vacation, that's for sure. But here's the advice if you're going to take a vacation. This is also an article from CNBC. They said, use your points and miles ASAP, says a credit analyst. And here's how to get the most out of them. With millions of people sitting on points that they couldn't spend last year, plus new ones they've earned from the pandemic era promotions, airlines and credit card companies are likely to devalue their points in the next few months, experts say. So save that money and spend those points. You don't want to get, you know, nothing's free these days. So, you know, take a deal when you got it. So here's a little background, a little context. For years, airlines have been moving the goalposts on how many points it takes for travelers to redeem their rewards. You ever traveled on points before? No. You've ever traveled on points? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It's free, essentially. You pay maybe a little fee, but it's an awesome thing. So basically, here's what the airlines have been doing. So first, they stopped tying points to the number of miles a passenger has traveled, and instead they started basing them around the amount the passengers paid for the airfare, okay? So then they started requiring more points to take a free flight. So the, this credit expert says to consider these tips to get the most out of your points. Number one, book flights as soon as you can to avoid the price bumps and fee hikes from increased demand. Supply and demand, that's economics 101, supply and demand. A lot of people are going to be traveling, a lot of people are booking flights. The sooner you can get your flight book, the better, the more you'll save. Number two, compare the total cost of the air travel. Compare your total cost before booking airfare. Basic economy is usually the cheapest fares. We know that. But an inexpensive award fare might end up costing more in the end because all, all the restrictions and add-on fees, i.e. luggage, seats, fees, you know, fees like that. So, you know, they said there's certain things in life, death, taxes, airline fees. You can include that right. as well. Um, and then last but not least, fly routes are feeling the loss of business travel. You know, business travel, they might say, might never come back. Nobody's traveling for business these days. Just get on a Zoom, Zoom meeting, call, right? Right, exactly. Because business travel will most likely not be returning this summer. Routes that depend on corporate travelers will have some of the lowest rates. That's why a lot of New York travel or San Francisco travel is probably pretty cheap because that's a lot of business travel. Consider traveling to the big cities that would traditionally be business hotspots, especially international destinations. So use your credit card points ASAP. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another, click here to watch the full episode, or just stay broke. <laughs>